There are thousands of writings that talk about the spiritual person bringing to every conversation glad tidings. Well, that's a positive communication. It's a communication that uplifts. But you know, studies have been made, and most people communicate in the negative. They communicate about how bad something is, and then another person chimes in on how bad something is. Join me this weekend in spreading glad tidings wherever you are. Isaiah 52, verse 7. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings good tidings, who publishes peace. Well, to publish peace, that means to put it permanently down wherever you go and to make people feel better than before you were there. It is a wonderful thing to spread the abundance of the good news. And it is something that you can do. It's a change. Sometimes it is a, 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 dramatic, a dramatic shift, but you can do it. And when you do, it changes the environment, the conversation, the people that you're around, but most of all, it changes you. You give yourself to joyfully sharing good news, glad tidings of peace and goodwill to everyone that you meet. You pray to God to become a messenger of glad tidings. You choose to speak positive words and to discuss positive subjects. You participate in conversations that promote peace and harmony. You can help others to become their own messengers of glad tidings, of peace and of goodwill by being a positive example. You will discover examples of pe people's absolute compassion and helpfulness and caring. You'll be bringing forth the very best of humanity in those around you. You will focus entirely on subjects that elate feelings of harmony and peace and joy wherever you go, wherever you go, to the store or to an office or to visit neighbors. You are a messenger of peace and a messenger of goodwill. You spread glad tidings. I decree in Jesus Christ's name that you are equipped and empowered by God to be a messenger of glad tidings, of peace and goodwill to your world.